A very important skill in dealing with ratios is sharing an amount in a given ratio. So one of the easier kind of examples to do with this are practical situations. Uh, but a little bit morbid is uh, sharing a will, an amount in a will, out to a few people. Okay, so for example, if we had to share, um, let's say, five hundred and fifty pounds in the ratio two to three, so we we'll share now. I should like share. Then the idea is that five hundred and fifty pounds is going to be split up so that uh, person A gets two shares and person B gets three shares. So overall, we've got two shares over here, three shares over here, so in total we have five shares. So we're splitting the money into five shares. So that would be our first step. So with five shares, that means we're splitting the 550 pounds into five piles of money. So we divide the 550 pounds up into five piles. And so in each pile, there will be £110 in each pile of money. So that would mean that person A will get two shares, so two piles of money, and person B will get three shares of money. So we have two lots of £110 going to person A, and three lots of £110 going to person B. Okay, so it's £220 and £330. So you can write the shares like so, okay, in an equivalent ratio. So this is person A, so it lines up with the two portions, and the £330 lines up with the three portions. A nice check at this stage is to make sure that the two numbers that you get in this case add up to what you started with. So £550. So that's a nice check. If they don't, then you must have gone wrong somewhere. Okay. So that's how we can share a sum of money into a given ratio. Let's go through one more example. So let's say we had share, um, let's say £630 in the ratio um, 2 to 3 to 1. Okay? So this is looking at three distinct people, let's say A, B and C. So A is getting two portions, B is getting three portions, and C is getting one portion. So in total, there are six portions. Two plus three plus one is six. So we split the money up into six distinct piles. So £630 into six piles. Now that is £105. So each pile of money has £105 in it. So person A is going to get two lots of £105. So that's £210. Person B is going to get three portions of £105. So that's £315. And person C is going to get one portion of £105, which is just 105 And all three, if we check, 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1, 1 and 1 and 1 is 3, 1, 3 and 2 is 6. So they add up to the original £630. And so the amount has been split up so that person A gets 210 Person B gets 315, and person C gets 105. And that's how we can share 
money or another commodity out into a given ratio.